I'm Liesl Newton. I'm a senior at the college. Um, and this fall, after I graduate, I'm going to start teaching social studies in the Mississippi Delta um, through Teach for America, a program which relies on AmeriCorps funding. So I am speaking tonight on behalf of the other AmeriCorps affiliates in this room, the folks outside, and the 100,000 signers of our online petition. Um, <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. Um, so last week, the House voted on a budget that would eliminate all federal funding for programs like Teach for America and City Year and Habitat, which we believe spur social entrepreneurship. Um, programs funded through the Corporation for National and Community Service not only employ hundreds of thousands of Americans, they also provide people like me who want to serve our country with opportunities to do so effectively, supporting education and health care and the environment and communities across America. So our question to you is, why do you propose eliminating funding for programs that invest not only in local communities, but also in the future leaders who care so much about them? Thanks. Liesl, first of all, thanks for being here, and thanks for bringing, uh, you know, your, your fellow students uh, to this forum. That, again, that's what this is about. And, and I did. I got this. Uh, I got the signed petition, yeah, and, and, and you sent it to me of, of people who uh, were in my district. Uh, and again, this is what our country affords us. Nowhere else can you do this. So thank you for being here. Um, I, I'll just tell you, it, it goes back to the same uh, answer I think I had to those uh, advocating for HIV, AIDS uh, program uh, funding as well. We're going to have to make some choices. It's trade-offs. It really is, and, and uh, you know, there are plenty of federal programs um, whose mission is laudable in and of themselves. I mean, you know, AmeriCorps' mission is to help people. Americans are compassionate people. We're, there is no more compassionate people in the world than America. You look at the levels of philanthropic giving of individuals in the world. No one comes close to us. Again, we're not going to be able to continue along that line unless we rethink uh, the balance between our government and the private sector. Because we've got to get back to this notion that what's unique about us is the engine of creativity and entrepreneurialism the private sector has led this country with. Let it restart. And at the same time, commit ourselves to reform in terms of government funding. You know, we're going to have to think outside the box here. You know, I said uh, in my remarks, we we're doing a wholesale assessment of federal policies and regulation. You know, and we, we, we have to hold ourselves accountable. And that's what it comes back to. Uh, so I would say, you know, the, the attempt to try and, and proffer a solution on the way forward fiscally uh, is absolutely painful. Uh, but again, I think if we can all come together uh, and, and try and reason, we'll get to the right result. Thanks. 